Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Contemporary Mama. If you're new, my name is Carolyn. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing. And if you do, make sure that you leave me a comment all the way at the bottom so that I can get to know you. So I'm gonna be doing a what I eat in a day today. I've done one of these recently, but it was for my two toddlers. The only one that I've done for me personally was my 1950s housewife, what I eat in a day. So I thought that I should give you guys a more realistic everyday um, look at what I am eating in a day. And as you can probably tell from the title, this is a dairy free what I eat in a day. I recently with in the last week and a half or so have made the effort to go dairy free. I wish I could say it was for, you know, my morals and beliefs and to save the planet, but it's actually for purely vanity reasons. I have had really bad cystic acne on my chin that I just cannot get rid of for over six months really. And from everything that I read, a lot of the times, or most of the time, it's hormonal and the cause is often dairy. So I am giving it a go, seeing how I do going dairy free. Um, and I was actually hoping that it wouldn't give me any improvements so that I wouldn't have to continue going dairy free, but it's actually cleared up a lot in just this very short period of time. So. Unfortunately, it does seem like dairy is the culprit. My body doesn't seem to like it, even though I'm not lactose intolerant. So I'm going to be trying all sorts of new dairy-free products and um, giving it a shot and see how realistic it is to keep this going long-term. But anyways, let's just stop blabbing. And I'm gonna get started making my breakfast. I sort of go through phases where I eat the same things over and over again so i am on a breakfast taco kick so i try and eat really low carb for dinner so when we do have tacos usually i'll make more of a taco salad so that i'm not eating all the carbohydrates from the shells at dinner time but for breakfast i do eat um, the majority of my carbohydrates for the day for breakfast so i'm going to be having two breakfast tacos and I usually like to have um, one egg and then I'll just pour in a little bit of egg whites just to make it a little bit healthier. And then this is my go-to seasoning. This is the everything but the bagel seasoning. I get it at Trader Joe's, but I've actually seen it um, at a lot more stores ever since it's become so popular. I've seen it at my regular grocery store and I know Costco has like the really big container of it so maybe I'll get a Costco membership just so that I can get that. I'm just going to grab my milk. <clears throat> I've actually tried to go or not tried to go dairy free but I've been limiting my dairy for quite a while now. I don't drink any milk um, even though my husband and my kids do. I switched to almond milk Quite a while ago, I have PCOS, if you didn't know, and I know that dairy is sort of an inflammatory trigger, especially in women with PCOS. So I gave up milk a while ago, and I even um, gave up coffee creamer too. I don't put sugar in my coffee, so I already had my cup of coffee for the day. But I have been using these nut pods, um, nut-based milk coffee creamers for quite a while. Uh, I like that they're sugar-free, they're dairy-free, so it's just like uh, a little bit of flavor that I can put in my coffee. So I already had that, and I also add in my collagen powder to that too, because it dissolves really well, so I can take that collagen powder, and I don't even taste it, so that's super easy. So for my breakfast tacos, I'm just going to start by adding some spinach to my pan. I add in like a big handful because this, as we all know, spinach cooks down so much. So I'm just going to let that cook down and then I'll add in my eggs. And I have been loving this um, dairy-free cheese. I don't know. I think the brand is Go Veggie. Yeah, Go Veggie. It says it right there. So this is their Mexican style shreds. I have been really enjoying the flavor of this. I've been using it in a lot of recipes over the past week. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to my eggs 
And then once my spinach cooks down, I'll add my egg mixture to the pan and kind of scramble that up and then I'm gonna add it in my tacos. Okay, so my eggs are all cooked. So I'm just gonna kind of divide that in half and then scoop them into my taco shells. And I have been loving these blue corn taco shells. Blue corn tortilla chips are a like, favorite of mine. No, no, they just taste better to me for some reason. More flavor, I think. So I just scoop those in and then I'm going to be adding some of my favorite taco toppings. I always add a ton of salsa. This just gives so much flavor and it's really just chopped up vegetables. So it's pretty good for you. There's no sugar in this one. And then I love these little individual servings of guacamole. I buy these all the time and bring them to work to like dip raw vegetables in. Um, I have been buying these mini avocados recently that I am loving because you can eat a whole one. So it's not like you have leftover avocado that's gonna get brown and you're not gonna wanna eat it. So it just eliminates a lot of waste. But I forgot to add those to my grocery order. So I have been using these little individual servings of guacamole. So how good does this look? It's just a little breakfast taco. Who doesn't love a nice savory breakfast? I much prefer a savory breakfast over a sweet breakfast. Like I would eat this over pancakes any day. So I'm going to eat this right now. I do have a little bit more coffee left in my coffee pot. I'll probably drink that. My son is at nursery school, so I'm just here with my daughter right now. So it's actually a semi-peaceful morning. Oh, and I also forgot I have some strawberries I'm going to have too. Because my kids go through phases where they like fruit, a certain fruit one week, but then not the next week. So apparently strawberries are out this week, so I have a ton of strawberries that I need to eat up. So it's about 12 o'clock. My daughter's almost going to be waking up from her nap, probably any minute. So I'm just going to try to get my lunch prepped because we are going to have to eat um, pretty quickly and then go pick up my son from school. So most days, probably like five to six days a week, I eat leftovers for lunch. I just think it's such an easy lunch to do. Most of the time the recipes that I follow are for four people and only me and my husband are eating it um, unless it happens to be something the kids like. So there's usually plenty of leftovers unless I'm making something like fish and then um, usually I only make enough for just one meal if I'm doing something like that. But I am just going to be throwing together a salad to go along with it. Last night we had this amazing buffalo chicken dish that my friend Shauna on YouTube um, posted a couple days ago. Her channel is called Shauna Ray. I'll try and link that video because I really enjoyed it and so did my husband. So what you do is you take chicken breast um, and put it in a baking dish and then you cover it with a cream cheese. Uh, shredded cheese and buffalo sauce mixture and bake it in the oven and oh my gosh it was so good and I made it with all my new dairy-free cheese so my dairy-free cream cheese my dairy-free shredded cheese that you saw this morning so it came out really good um, and it tasted amazing so I'm gonna have that leftover chicken and then I'm gonna make a big hearty salad to go with it and when I do make things like salad I try to do more than one at a time so you know, I'm making a salad to have now, and then I'm also going to chop up all the veggies so that we can have salad for dinner tonight because I'm going to be making eggplant parm, and salad just goes good with that. So I can chop up all the veggies, and then it'll just save me time later. And then I also have to work tomorrow, so I'm going to be making a mason jar salad to bring to work. So mason jar salads are perfect for prepping in advance because if you layer it where the crunchy stuff is at the bottom and the delicate things like the lettuce are at the top, then it's not gonna get soggy. So I'm just gonna quickly chop up these veggies and then I'll show you everything that is in it.
my daughter's just waking up, so let me show you quickly what I'm going to have for lunch. This is that buffalo chicken I was telling you about. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look so good? And it's all dairy-free cheese, and it still came out pretty melty, which is what I was worried about. I've heard that dairy-free cheese doesn't really melt, which... This definitely didn't melt like regular cheese, but it still got kind of melty. And then I have some leftover asparagus to serve with it. And then this is my salad. <laughs> I may have found a little overboard, but I always tend to do that with salads. I always love a big hearty salad because that's just what's gonna fill me up. It's, you know, a lettuce and tomato salad is not gonna fill me up. So I have a ton of stuff in here. Um, let's see. There are chickpeas, there are mushrooms, carrots, peppers, um, some cabbage, celery, cucumber, like pretty much anything I had in my fridge, which I had a lot of vegetables in my fridge because my groceries just got delivered yesterday. Um, anything I had, I pretty much threw in there just to give it a lot of color and variety. And then I'm gonna serve this um, Bolt House dressings. This is a pretty um, healthy brand of salad dressing. And then I already have my salad ready to bring to work tomorrow. I have it all uh, layered in this mason jar so it will stay nice and fresh and crisp and I can bring it to work. The dressing's already at the bottom so I just have to shake it and pour it out when I'm ready to eat it tomorrow on my lunch break. And then for tonight, since we're having salad, I already chopped up all the veggies so I just have to add lettuce so this will stay nice and crisp until dinner time I just threw that in a mason jar since um, I already was grabbing one to make my mason jar salad so I'm going to try to eat this it's 12:15. Um, I have to go get my son in just under 30 minutes so I'm gonna eat this and warm up some lunch for my daughter and I will catch up with you a little later so I just pulled in my driveway. We went to Trader Joe's after I picked my son Jacob from school. And of course he fell asleep on the way home. So I drove around a little bit so he could have a bit of a nap and made a pit stop at Starbucks. Got my guilty pleasure, the pink drink. Thank gosh, this is actually made with coconut milk. So it's dairy free. Um, definitely still considered a treat though. There's a lot of sugar in it, I know, but I caved. <laughs> I just couldn't resist it. So I gotta figure out how to get him in the house and my daughter is whining back there so I'm gonna go inside and then I'm gonna show you some of the fun uh, new dairy free stuff that I found at Trader Joe's. So I'm not gonna do a whole haul because I have a bunch of Trader Joe's hauls already on my channel um, and I tend to buy the same stuff over and over but this is um, all the dairy-free things that I got. So I got two more kinds of um, dairy-free cheese. These are the Trader Joe's blends. So I will see how these compare to the ones that I got at my regular grocery store. And I'm not a big um, yogurt person, so I just got two of their coconut milk yogurts, vanilla and blueberry, just to have for like a quick snack probably. I got their brand of the vegan cream cheese because seriously, that buffalo chicken um, that I made last night was so good. I really want to make it again. So I need um, cream cheese to do that. And then you saw this in my summer Trader Joe's haul. Um, if you missed it, I'll link it uh, in the cards. But this is a coconut cream latte. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Um, I love bringing these to work because sometimes I need a little afternoon picking me up because I'm at work for like over 13 hours. So these are great for on the go. And then I also got their vegan pesto. I absolutely love pesto in the summer and I probably shouldn't have got this, but um, because I have so much basil in my yard, but um, whatever, I just got it. So I'll use it up and see how I like it. So I finally finished frying up all that eggplant. So I don't 
don't even know the right way to make eggplant parm, but the way that I always do it is to make these little eggplant stacks. So I put one of the biggest circles on the bottom, and then I do a little bit of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of shredded cheese, and then I put a medium one on and just repeat the process three times. So you have a large, a medium and a small one. Do you have to go potty? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go potty. I'll be right back. Okay, the potty break is over. So I'm gonna be making my husband's with just regular cheese and then I'll do mine with my dairy-free one, of course. So let me put these together really quick because it's probably gonna take me like five or 10 minutes to do all of these and then I'll show you how it looks before I pop it in the oven. So my eggplant parm is out of the oven, it looks amazing. These pieces here are mine and those are my husband's and then I threw together the salad really quick from the veggies I chopped earlier. So I'm going to go dig in. I hope you guys enjoyed this that I eat in a day and I'll see you on Tuesday.